Well, welcome back to What Have We Learned from Current Affairs. Uh, we've been away for a few months now, and uh, so today we are covering what we learned during the break. Yes, and during the break we learnt that we made a terrible, terrible mistake. A few months back we did a segment about the secret DVD where we jokingly said that this man here was a pedophile. Now, it turned out that the actor playing that man was very offended and he took his story straight to Today Tonight. I'd like to say to the Chasers boys, you're not funny. I'd like a public apology to begin with. Well, Mr Actor, we'd like to give you that apology without any further ado. As this vision from Today Tonight shows, you are clearly not a pedophile. You're obviously into bestiality instead. <laughs> so look at you, pulling moves on that cow. He's relentless. Honestly. Shame on you. But wait. He even told us the conditions under which he'd have sex with that cow. I ain't taking it lying down. <laughs> wow. Apology dealt with. <laughs> yes, well, we have been away, and of course, no break would be complete without a tortuous segue from the one and only Anna Corrin. In this segue, Anna tries to smoothly change the subject from a report about Macquarie Bank to a report about Harry Potter. And so tenuous is her link that scientists from the Smithsonian Institute were forced to develop their very own machine to measure it. The tenuousometer. Macquarie Bank casting as big a spell on governments as any master of the dark arts. Which makes you wonder why Harry Potter wouldn't want to be a banker if he grows up. That's a tenuous reading of eight billion. Well done. Also during the break, the country was visited by the US aircraft carrier Kitty Hawk. Now, this is a great opportunity for a journo. Australia is at war and you got access to America's prime piece of military machinery. So, it's a good thing that today, tonight, got this crew member to divulge such, such strategic information of geopolitical import. Um, last night we played bingo, for example. Bingo? Yeah. So, yeah that was pretty fun. <laughs> well, that was today, tonight's coverage. Meanwhile, ACA had their own probing angle. Now, be honest with me. How many questions do you get about Top Gun the movie? No, we, get, we get quite a few. Yes, and most of them were asked by Today Tonight. Do you know if Top Gun was filmed on this vessel? I don't think so. <laughs> I've heard it was. No, was it? I don't, I don't believe so, sir. No, Did you, so. like, join up after seeing Top Gun? A little bit afterwards, just slightly. <laughs> Do you have Top Gun on video here now? Not right now. Well, that's global security. Uh, now, the parents among you will remember that the toy company Mattel recently recalled millions of toys when they found this toxic lead in the paint. Now, now, how could the company board be so incompetent? Well, hang on. We watched ACA and it all became clear. Just look who Mattel's chief advisor is. Now to the preschooler headed for the corporate boardroom. If Sage gives a toy her tick of approval, you'll see the results on shop shelves next year when this five-year-old talks and the toy makers listen. Explains a lot. Oh, yeah, but now if you put aside the whole toxic paint thing, it must be pretty cool for a kid to play with so many Mattel toys. I went and asked her about it. So what's it like to be Mattel's toy tester? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what really annoys me, Bart? And what annoys you? People who say current affairs shows don't cover hard news. That is rubbish. Yeah, that's nonsense. Look, when interest rates went up during the break, Today Tonight was at the forefront of the coverage. They went right to the top and spoke directly to the Governor of the Reserve Bank, driveway repairer. <laughs> You're actually working for the fellow yeah. who determines your mortgages. Oh, right. Clean. Is he a nice bloke? Nice one. Very nice wife. Jeez, did, he, did he get that? Hold the front page! By contrast, ACA covered the rate rise by examining the broader political context. All Australians want to know which one of these streets will lead to a dead end. <laughs> and all Australians want to know which one of these streets best describes that report. <laughs> but of course, hey, you know what? Of course, the biggest scoop during the break was the release of the final Harry Potter book. And Channel 9 got themselves a real exclusive. They got an interview with J.K. Rowling herself. Tough one for Channel 7. How could they match that? Well, somehow they did. J.K. Rowling reveals all about her troubled past and her billion dollar empire. Once and for all. On 7's Today Tonight. Got that? J.K. Rowling reveals 
all in these startling clips today, tonight, seem to take off the internet that were originally made by some other program in some other country four years ago. Well, if such uh, fresh interviews are in demand at seven, we thought we'd deliver them something hot off the presses. We, we need to give you these tapes. We've got a scoop. We've got a scoop for Brian Seymour. So we've got Winston Churchill telling all. It's hot off the press. Look. Who's Winston? It's amazing. Look at it. Winston Churchill. It's Winston from 1944. Churchill. Winston Churchill says we could win World War II. All right. Yeah. Do you want to just step in here? Yeah, guys? Thank, thank you. you. Very much. Thanks. Not answering, guys. Channel 9 will be raining this tonight, I'm telling you. Not today. Well, if you're going to be like that, you're going to miss out on our scoop on Napoleon. Yep. Yeah.